hello everyone in this video I am going to deal with disconnected architecture I have a button and a grid view and I want to read the data in disconnected mode initial steps are same that we did earlier like reading the connection string creating the connection and creating the command so I'll simply go for my first initial sample I'll copy initial three steps initial three steps are same I need to create get the connection string create the connection create the command next what I need is SQL adapter and data set so first of all I'll create the object of data set ds equals to new data set and I need SQL data adapter da equals to new SQL data adapter now I need to pass my command to this data adapter so earlier I was executing the command directly but here I need to pass this command to the intermediator that is my data adapter now it is the job of data adapter to fill the data set I'll say da dot fill ds so data set is nothing but it is the collection of data table my data set can contain one or more data tables so in this data set I am going to fill it with employee table I'll name it as tbl underscore emp the magic is here this da.fillds is going to open the connection and get the data into the table tbl and closes the connection that is why I call it as disconnected architecture now I have the table available with me that is nothing but data set dot tables of tbl underscore emp I have this table available with me now I can work with this table as I like I can perform insert operation I can perform update operations I can perform delete operations I can do anything I can use it for n number of times and I am no way connected to the database I said da.fillds which has opened the connection fill the data set with the data table and close the connection and my data table is available with me now I can perform all my operations happily as of now I'll just assign this to a grid view that I have on my page the data source equals to and I'll say grid view one dot data bind I'll execute this once I click the button my data set will get filled with the data table and I'm reading the data table in the grid view now I as it is disconnected architecture I can read these values in n number of grid views or n number of places wherever I like now I'll take one more grid view here just for the example and in this button click as I'm assigning it to the grid view 1 in the same way I'll assign the same data table to grid view 2 as well now it is going to reflect me the data in both the grid views that is very simple grid view 1 and grid view 2 get filled with the same data table data set is nothing but collection of 
data tables now I can write one more command or I can use the same command object and I can change the command text cmd dot command text equals to this time I'll say select star from tbl underscore dpt and I will give this command to the data adapter like I have created the data adapter object and I gave the command in the constructor itself but I have the separate property as well I'll say da dot as this is select command I'll say select command equals to cmd and I'll use the same method again I'm going to fill the data set da dot fill ds this time I'm going to fill it with the table tbl underscore dept initial command was select star from employee table and I have filled the data set with this employee table the second command is select star from department table now I have filled the data set with department table that means my data set contains two tables one is employee table another is department table as I told you data set is collection of tables I can have n number of tables in the data set to the grid view 2 I want to assign department table save this and execute it I should get employee table in first grid view and department table in second grid view I got the departments here I have all the departments I have all the employees so this is all about your disconnected architecture in our next video we will see how to perform update insert and delete operations on the table that we have in the data set and we will see whether all those changes gets reflected to the database or not if not how do we make all those changes back to the database so disconnected means I'm establishing the connection and filling the table and closing the connection that's it now I can work with this data table as I like so we will see in our next video we will elaborate it more and I hope you can enjoy that video more thank you very much